Okay, everybody. I've had several requests to do the car, so here we go. And this is where it's a little tricky. You click and hold down, and you pull out the bezier handle, and let go. And click here. Now, here I'm still holding down. I haven't let go, but now I'm going to hit the Alt key. And I'm going to bring this over, the little handle, so it knows that I'm going to be going in this direction. Okay, I'm going to let go of my mouse or trackpad, and then let go of my Option key. And then that was just the little handle that's there, the Bezier handle. And I'm going to come over here and click. I've tried to do it here, but it just doesn't give you the right angle. So it's, it's, I can't do it that way. I've gone up, well, that's another story. So click here and go here. Click here. Okay, so now before I let go of my trackpad, I'm clicking down on my trackpad or your mouse, or I'm going to hold Option and move the Bezier handle in this direction. And then let go of my trackpad or my mouse, and then let go of my Option key. That's just the Bezier handle that's there. So I'm going to click for the node. Okay. So I'm going to click and hold down and pull it out. Oops. There we go. That looks good. Now I'm still holding down. See, I can still move it if I want to. See? But I'm still holding down. Before I let go, I'm going to hold the Option key. I'm going to move this handle down in the direction that I need it to, to change. Okay, then I'm going to let go of my trackpad or my mouse. And then I'm going to let go of my Option key. So that's just the, if you look right here, that's not where I clicked yet. That's just the handle that I moved in the direction that I'm going. I'm going to click the next node. And I'm going to click and hold down. And there we go. And just in case you want the airplane, the airplane looks easy. Okay, now I'm going to hold my Option key down and move my Bezier handle in the direction I want to go. Didn't work, that's all right. Okay, I see what I'm doing on this. Click it here. Okay, now before I let go of my trackpad, I'm going to hit Option, and I'm going to move this Bezier handle in the direction I want. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's see. No. It's like a trial and error. You just keep trying until... Okay, so before I let go, I'm going to hold the option and move my Bezier handle this direction. Option. Move this around like that. This looks really bad. Okay. So, let's see if I can get this to work. I think I messed up here, so I'm just going to Command Z and keep trying again. Okay, now I'm going to move my Option key down and move it. Oh, 
a super fun game. Mine looks horrible, doesn't it? Okay, I'm not happy with this because if this was really Illustrator or Photoshop, this would not cut it. This looks really bad. So I'm going to try it again. You can continue watching or you don't have to. It's up to you. Oops. happy with this point right here. I'm going to try to do just half. I mean, I know I can do it, but I want it to look nice, you know. Okay, so now that I'm just going to let go, I haven't used my option key yet. I'm still just using my, like, see this bezier handle? If you're wanting it to curve, I think I kind of learned that you're supposed to have this straight parallel, and it'll give you this nice curve right here. Yeah, see, this is nicer. I think this looks nicer. So see how I made this parallel to this? Now it's a nicer shape to it. I don't know if I can come all the way down here. Let's just try it. See, it's not going to let me. Okay, so let's come to here. Oh, it's a zero. 11 out of 10. Okay, so there has to be a better way to do that than what I just did. Okay, I hope this helps you guys. I love all your comments. I like the challenge. Thanks.